New steel barriers along Dublin's Grand Canaria have been described as architectural vandalism. The structures have been erected on along stretch, stretches of the Canal Bank in response to growing asylum crisis in the city. New steel barriers along Dublin's Grand Canaria have been described as architectural vandalism. The structures have been erected on along stretches of the bank in response to the growing asylum crisis in the city. Dublin TGD Gary Cannon from the Social Democrats believes that the barriers are damaging the image of one of the most beautiful parts of the city. So you see, Ireland is having a housing crisis. Ireland is not the only one in the West. A whole lot of countries in this West are having housing crisis, including the UK. Portugal is having housing crisis. A whole lot of countries. So it's a general thing that most of the Western countries, their leaders have to invest heavily when it comes to affordable house scheme, cheaper house schemes. They should invest heavily in social housing schemes. And because this is what is contributing or adding to Ireland's problem. Because 14,000 Irish citizens are even having accommodation issues themselves. Not to talk of the Ukrainians, migrants that came over to them. And now, with the new Rwanda plan in the UK, you can already see what is happening there. That since then, 80% of the arrivals are coming from the UK. And the UK won't even take these migrants back from Ireland because France refused to take the migrants that came through France to UK because of the Brexit. So at the end of the day, Ireland is left on its own to solve its problem. Yes, of which they are trying the much they can do to be able to meet up with the little they can offer in the time they process these people asylum cases and see the people based on their law of their country and international law can stay in their country yes so the asylum seekers that are coming are good through a lot an average irish citizen that is having accommodation issue is equally going through a whole lot yes imagine how they feel seeing these people coming in getting accommodation why them the owners of the place can't get accommodations it's very frustrating let us be truth let us be uh, truthful to ourselves then on the other side an average irish citizens should please try i know it's very hard to pour their frustration to their politicians and not to the migrants because the migrants are not doing the ones implementing the laws or setting the rules and regulations in their country and the asylum seekers that are coming should do well to conduct themselves well abide by the rules and regulations of that country. That is the truth.